Hello everyone, this is Ada Qolami from Agrimat Staff Research Lab and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to run normality test in SPSS. So I have a bunch of data in here. These data actually are used for explaining this regression and correlation concepts in SPSS. So I've got uh, one dependent variable, which is weight, and two independent variables, which are height and gender. So in here, I want to run normality test for weight in my SPSS space. So I'll head into Analyze tab, and there I go for Descriptive Statistics. And in the opening options, I choose Explore. So click on Explore. And then since I've run this test before, I have that already. But you can see something like this at first glance. So I have uh, all three variables. I want the dependent one. So I go for weight, I click on that to select an independent list box. Then you go for plots. And in box plots options, uh, check none. And in descriptive, uncheck both of them. And take care to check normality plots with test. I click on continue and click OK. So then you can see an output um, window is opened by SPSS automatically. And in here, you can see tests of normality table. So in here, you can see two normality tests are run by SPSS. One of them is Kolomogrov Smirnov, and the next one is Shapiro Wilk. So Kolomogrov Smirnov is a test which is used for more than 2000 data sets. So um, if your sample size is more than 2000, then you could go for it. And if it's less than 2000, you go for Shapiro Wilk. Since in here, I have 30 data points, which you can see degree of freedom is 29. I go for Shapiro Velk. In here, you can see an statistic and degree of freedom and significance value. In here is 0 0.062. So let's get into paint and get a little bit closer that what does it mean so in the normality tests you have um two actually hypothesis the no hypothesis is that your data is normal and in h alternative or h a, you have that um, this data is not is not normal. Okay, so you will test against these two hypotheses, and when your p value actually this is the p value. Okay, when the p value is this is the, yeah, 62. Then this is bigger than 5%, okay? This is bigger than 5%. This is a little bigger than uh, the significance level, which is 5% in here. You could not reject the null hypothesis, okay? So this is accepted, and you accept that your data are normally distributed in here. If this is uh, smaller than 5%, then you should reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative one, which says that these are not normally distributed. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new 
and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and see you in the next videos and bye